All right, folks, this video, I'm going to show you how to create something that looks like a, uh, a ball of yarn. Um, you can pretty much uh, wireframe any object and turn it all into all kinds of cool things. OK, so let's get started here. Uh, file new general. And here is that uh, cube that everybody hates. I'm going to go ahead and hate on it, too. We're going to get rid of it gone okay now I want to add and I'm gonna add a, a UV spear so there it is huh looks pretty cool now we could you know obviously make this look better but we don't need to um, so before we move on to the next step we need to come over here click on object okay and then we want to convert mesh from curve okay boom don't ask me why. That's just what everybody does in these videos. All right. So next step, if you don't already have this create tab, which is going to lead to the spline generator, you've got to come over here to render, excuse me, edit preferences. And you're going to, you want to make sure this is checked next to add curve extra objects. Okay. So most likely you'll have it look like that. You'll click on that and boom. Now you have this tab. We select the tab and then click on this triangle. And now you're looking at bounce spline. Okay, that's bounce spline. Now I'm trying to take my time with this. Um, some of you might find it better hitting the, uh, the fast forward thing on YouTube, but uh, that's another story. So select that and now look. We've got all these things here, okay? So let's do a couple things so you can see. One, I want to go ahead and render the image. And up, oh, it looks like a golf ball, right? That's not what I want. Now, we know we've got to get rid of our original spear, so we're going to delete that. Let's try it again. Voila, nothing's there, okay? Why is that? Because this doesn't actually, it's not a solid it has no physical properties to it really okay um, so what we need to do is select it okay then we're going to come over here to object data properties and we're going to select uh, geometry and we're going to give it some depth okay so I'll tell you right off the bat um, 0.5 is going to be too big, but let's put it in there. You may find a reason to use this one day. Um, but in our case, I think we're going to settle on 0.015. And voila. Okay. Now, if you really wanted yarn, maybe it would be a lot thicker. I don't know. What do I know? I only work here. So there's a lot of other things we could do. Um, and we could change the uh, the background color. We want to do that for sure. Make it nice and black. Everybody does that in these videos. Um, and then we are going to change one other thing. Here we go. You want to select on render properties, okay? Bloom, screen space reflection, motion blur. Why? Because everybody does that in these videos. Okay, and you can obviously change up some of this stuff if you wanted to. We're just going to take the default. And if your render engine is not already on EV, make sure it's on EV. All right, so now let's render it again. Okay. And that looks pretty cool, huh? Now, obviously, we could do some stuff with the lights. Um, and. In this case, I'm just going to change the color, okay? I like red. And we can obviously change to an area. So let's let's take a look at it. Um, there it is like that, okay? The point light. Let's do it with an area. Of course, we might have to go in and move it. Okay, so either one of these looks okay. I think the point light might have looked better. 
You can change it to the sun. All you just, you know, whatever you're feeling. Now, that looks pretty cool, folks. I actually kind of like that. Um, so there you go. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, please like. Please subscribe. Thank you.